Hi, this video shows how to create a self-correcting um, list or adapting list, drop-down list. Here uh, in my example, I have here a table and that's a small, uh, small drop-down combination field. Let's say this is combination field, uh, my entry A. And when I open it uh, there, it's not reloaded. As you see, and I want that all uh, that each entry goes in there. So the selection it's itself is the group of those values which are in this uh, field. The table there is this one. That's the table, and as you see there, it's in this uh, in this column. There's one entry, maybe another one, uh, and this one will not be loaded automatically. So when I click on there, it's not loaded. How does this happen? Uh, how will I do this? We go here to our combination field or combo box and then we go to after update. Uh, there's always the stuff which is uh, called here on not in not in list is not uh, this doesn't work uh, the way that you expect. So we go here on after update and we click here on this uh, code button. We go to code builder and inside there now we get this code and I was grouped on, to, on my uh, elements and now this is my co my control here is called the name is name is CTR CTL control room or German uh, application and in, in this control the name if I push the uh, dot uh, the point then we will see uh, the source the row source that's the stuff which is entered in here when I'm there and go to my data that's my row source and my row source is just this uh, big block which is called uh, my table mm, let's uh, go one step back uh, that's my my real table just go in there that's the way how it works we say um, my list which is in there uh, give me a add this table that's the table itself and inside there that's the column which is uh, actually where the drop down is and then you get these results now this is uh, if a value comes is there two times for example then this uh, uh, then you only want to see it one time so we go here to totals so it's grouped and inside there you see also it's grouped now we go uh, back to the SQL view uh, not to, to the design view uh, and we sort it by uh, by this field itself ascending and Yes, and that's it. Um, now we go. We have a look on that. Now we see that's the result. We close it again. That's uh, you in Microsoft Access. You have to close it here again. Now you see in this field is the row source. That's the row source. The SQL text. Watch what we have there. And now we say uh, if I enter a new value, we go, I go to the event on uh, after update go there then I will say my row source there's no refreshing there so I say okay my row source is the same what I have there so this is um, row source looks strange but that's the way how we you may do it simply set the value of the row source again so it will be reloaded so save it go to the application go to the application view and now when I uh, when I open it selection is A and B if I say uh, A B C as soon as I leave the field and when I go now in there I will see now there's A B C in there and I will select it A B C and it's there so this was how you may uh, update your combination fields Microsoft Access and Excel.